What's up guys, Shane Starnes with the Droid Modder X. Today I've got some really exciting news for you. Something happened that I thought would never happen, and that is an unlocked bootloader. Well, not quite an unlocked bootloader, but full on custom recovery for the Verizon LG G3 and all other LG G3 variants. That's ATT, Sprint, T-Mobile, and the whole gamut are covered. This is brought to you by Auto Prime, Dees Troy, and some other awesome developers that have also rooted several devices, unlocked bootloaders on several devices, and they have come through on their promise to unlock the bootloader on the LG G3. Now with that being said, this is not a full bootloader unlock. This does give us full custom recovery, so we will be able to flash AOSP ROMs, stock ROMs, regardless of what firmware we're currently on. The only drawback is that they will have to be bumped. So according to the development team, every ROM that you would probably consider downloading would already be bumped and ready to go. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this how-to guide. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is head to the link in the description that'll bring you to this thread. This is for the Verizon variant. I'll also try to be sure to include links to the other variants. You'll want to be sure that you do pay attention to the proper variant because there are a few little differences. Uh, but anyways, this is Bump, the device unlocked for the LG G3. And you'll want to scroll down here and grab the downloads. This is where can I download this? You'll download this directly to the SD of your card. So it'll probably go into SD card download. Make sure that you move the file from the download folder directly to the SD card. Okay, so once you have this file installed on your SD card, or rather downloaded on your SD card, uh, you'll go make note of these commands. Okay, so we'll have to go ahead and put our device into USB debugging mode. So we'll go into the app drawer. Go to settings, go to about phone, go to software information, click on the build number until it says that you are a developer. Then you go to your developer options, turn them on, turn on USB debugging and plug your phone into the USB. Okay, so on the Verizon version, you'll need to go where it says USB connected. Click on that, change it to internet and ethernet. You should get a little pop-up that asks for you to allow access to the PC that it's plugged up to. Check always allow and then check OK. When that's finished, you can kind of set the phone to the side. Okay, so I'm on a Mac. If you're on Windows, you'll go to start menu, run, and then run a command prompt. So you'll need to have a command prompt in Mac. It's a terminal. So you open up your terminal and you will type ADB devices just to make sure that your phone is connected and that the computer can see that your phone is connected. Mine's there, so now we'll go ADB shell, enter, and then you will type SU and enter. It may ask you to grant root perm permissions on your phone. Go ahead and grant root permissions. The next thing you'll do is copy and paste uh, this first line here. Okay, you'll see it'll give you this little error here but then you should see where it's transferred there it may say uh, error right error no space left on device just kind of ignore that and then go and copy and paste the second line Okay, and then you should see where the recovery was transferred. When that's all finished, you can go ahead and boot into recovery on your LG G3. Okay, so to boot into recovery on the Verizon version, you are going to press and hold the power and volume down from powered off. So go ahead and power down the phone. And you'll press and hold that until the twerp actually pops up. On all other variants, you will press and hold the power and volume until you see the LG G3 screen and then the recovery screen and then you'll let go of that volume down button. So uh, power and volume down. We'll just keep holding it. Okay, when we see this screen, we'll go down to factory data reset. Now, if everything went correctly and you flashed the recovery, this will not wipe your data. If you didn't flash the recovery, then this will actually wipe your data. So uh, make sure to back up everything just in case you mess up somewhere and you have not flashed the recovery and then we'll press power to select and then scroll down to yes with power uh, with volume down and then power to select yes and then you should boot into team win recovery project like so the very first thing that i would suggest is that you go ahead and do a full android backup it actually went really quickly for me when i did it earlier 
uh, but at least that way you'll be able to restore back to the stock rooted uh, ROM just in case you need to. Also, another big thing that I would say is do not take any over the air updates. They will surely uh, they will surely take away this Team Win Recovery project, and you will not be able to install custom ROMs. Or at least that was the case on the Galaxy S4. Whenever I whenever you accept an over the air update, it patched Loki and took away the ability to get a Team Win Recovery project. Thankfully, I still have mine Loki patched. Uh, and this one will remain bumped until I get rid of it, so that way I can flash as many stock ROMs as I desire. Uh, good news here on the Galaxy S4, it had a good ROM community for a good year after it was Loki exploited and had a good custom recovery. I would imagine the same thing would happen on the LG G3 since we're able to flash AOSP ROMs and stock ROMs alike. I've already seen some developers that are trying to get their hands on this device. So uh, plenty more videos. To come to this channel for the LG G3. If you like this video, be sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.